Casey, thank you so much for being here. And you said we were going to learn to make boutonnieres. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I think of boutonnieres, I either think of weddings mm -hmm. or uh, in our case, our school has a wonderful maypole tradition where mm. the girls, of course, wear their long dresses and the guys have a boutonniere that matches the dresses. And uh, I'm sure the florists make lots of money those times of the year, but it's not really that hard, is it? It's not that hard. It takes a few elements and the right kind of flowers to make it work. Oh, Roses uh -huh. are by far the easiest and best because they do well out of water. Because what you're doing is you're taking the, the, the little flower away from its stem, which uh -huh. has been sitting in water, and you're wrapping it up. You're sticking some wire, wire in it mm -hmm. and then wrapping it up with tape. And so it has to be able to manage out of water for a while. Oh. So it's important to find the right flowers that do mm -hmm. that. So roses, roses by far are great because they also, we talking about color themes, mm -hmm. everybody wants a different color to go with their wedding. So with roses, you have a huge array right. of shades as well as the spray roses, which we're gonna work with today. These are the smaller roses. These are the smaller roses. ones. And these I find work great for like a ring bearer boutonniere. A um, little child. A little child, uh -huh. or even for the guys that maybe aren't wearing a tuxedo, that might be wearing maybe the, a looser shirt, like a Tommy Bahama sort of loose, comfortable shirt in the summer. A big, heavy rose or flower oh, isn't going that to. Look appropriate. No, it's going to swing down and be too heavy. Uh -huh. So something like this is a nice and light. Also for moms who are going to have a wrist corsage or maybe even something that they're wearing, something mm -hmm. chiffonny or something. So it's nice to use something lightweight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use oh, this as our main flower, uh, our spray rose. And then we're going to add a little bit of fun to it with uh, some wax flower, a little filler flower. And this is one oh, I've just done. Uh -huh. Very simple. But to me, th the fun thing about them is you can pull in so many different elements and they just end up being little pieces of art uh -huh. and uh, to wear and each uh, one slightly different each one slightly different so uh -huh. we're gonna make a couple of those today okay so what we need is some wire and the mm -hmm. kind of wire that we use for these it has to be pretty bendable but at least sturdy so this is about a 24 gauge wire and That's uh, very thin very thin 24. but enough to hold it together uh -huh. and because you don't really want the bulk of all the stem to stay with there so we need to take the stem off but we need the wire to sort of com build the components together. Sure. So that's what the wire is mm -hmm. for. And is a boutonniere always a single flower? Not necessarily. Not no, boutonniere is more is smaller and considered more for a gentleman, whereas a pinned corsage is a little bit more ornate, and that would be for mm -hmm. a lady. I see. And okay. so I think the boutonniere, too, is um, also kept from having the buttonhole. They used to call it a buttonhole. Mm -hmm. They used to put something right. in, and that was actually in the lapel. But this usually gets pinned on the lapel. The second element that we need for hardware is this. This is called floral tape, and it's very unusual mm -hmm. because it doesn't it's feel sticky, sticky at all. Huh? But it actually, once it you you have to pull it to sort of activate it, and then oh. it will stick to itself. However, all of the elements need to be dry um, to make it work. If it oh. does hit water, it will unravel. So we usually take a length of that as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that. Put that there. So I have a length of my floral tape. I have my wire, mm -hmm. and I'm going to give it a go here. And I have my my rose, this one looks like a good candidate. And you know I love yellow roses. I know, they are so lovely. So glad you brought that. <laughs> and we're gonna take off the greenery, and mm -hmm. I have some stem to work with, but I don't really need all that. I only need about that much. Oh, about and an what inch. what I do, at about mm -hmm. an inch. And then right here on the stem, where the main part of the bulb starts to narrow down into the stem, uh -huh. we actually insert the wire right there. At a, at going into the across. side. Yep, oh. and then we work this oh. right through. Right to the center. Right to the center, and then we drop it down, and it becomes yeah. a new stem. And then from here, we add our floral tape. Oh, and I see. And our floral tape activates once you stretch it, so we give mm -hmm. it a little stretch, and when we add it on, we're gonna cover the wire. And what also the floral tape does, once it covers the stem, it will help seal in the moisture oh, in sure. the stem, uh -huh. so it will last um, so I bet in your studio you keep all the flowers in water until, until you're ready to minute. use them. Absolutely, uh -huh. yes. So then we just cover the wire, uh -huh. going all and the way down. And you twist it. And I twist it and I pull, mm -hmm. kind of like wrapping an ace bandage, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> rather on the quick side. So that's uh -huh. good to go, but we usually like to add something else, a little uh -huh. bit special. So we're going to take some of this wax flower, and it's got the greenery on it, which won't really work. It's too bulky. So we pull away some of that, oh. and you can just think, well, I think that looks pretty. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll just do that. Looks really sweet. Uh -huh. Well, can't really wire that because it's too much it's of too a branch. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is take another piece of tape. And how we do this is we already have that one element there. And I'm going to line that up. And I'm just going to anchor it. I'm going to go around. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to anchor that stem. And then I'm going to cut that stem off. Oh, get rid of the yep. length. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And then I'm going to carry on with that same tape that I had on and there. And twisting it and all the way twisting. down. And I don't even have to go all the way down now. We're and then you there. get a long pin. And, and then, yep, and here we can actually just turn this around oh, as well. Oh, that's right. How pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered why you left that so long. <laughs> but it makes it look a little bit more natural. It looks like a little piece of ivy, actually. It so it just finishes it off. So then you have uh -huh. your boutonniere. And then you said carnations are well, also a good flower. Of, well, and give you one of the carnations mm -hmm. to give it a go. The carnation is, is very bigger. popular uh -huh. and uh, a very hardy also. And we're actually going to stick, um, you're going to stick the wire right through this part of it. The, um, really the, the largest the bigger part. part because uh -huh. it's too, too heavy core down here. So we're going to go right through there. You want to give it a try? Okay. All right. Just feed it in right where it, feed it in there so you don't bend. Good. And pop it through. Wonderful. And then, yep, yeah, drop that down, straight down. Great. That looks terrific. And then I'll get you started with the tape, and then I'll mm -hmm. have you carry on with it. And we're just going to anchor it on there, go up a little bit to hide the, the, the wire. And then you want to just keep pulling okay. and twisting. Pulling and twisting. And then I'll pull you a little bit of wax flour. But you wouldn't add the wax flour until you'd gone all the way down. Right, because if you try to add all the components and then try to tape the whole thing, uh -huh. it ends up being a bit of a mess. So you're better off taping each individual component and then building it together. Great. I don't think I twirled quite as That's fast right. as you did. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, we're about to get there. There we go. That's probably plenty. We can just cut that off. I don't think we're going to need it. It has mm -hmm. a little bit of a rip. There oh, you there. go. And then we might decide, well, I think I want to have a little bit more going on there. So you could add a little bit of wax flour up there. You could do it in front like that. Sometimes if you just lay it on to see how it's going to look. Mm -hmm. And maybe we just anchor that piece right there. It, would we ever want to put two pieces yes, of that? Yes, we could indeed. <laughs> so we could do that too. So mm -hmm. I'm going to anchor this first one. Uh -huh. Went around twice, anchored oh, yeah. it, Cut trim off it off, that excess. and then at this point, this is where you can add another piece. You don't have to go all the way no, around. No, we can just say, uh -huh. well, I think I'll just add this piece now, yeah. maybe to this side. Mm -hmm. Or we could do a whole collar of it all the way around mm -hmm. if we so desired. So sometimes, you know, you have a client that just wants tons of this and tons yeah. of that, and you just have to, to work it into the plan. Wow, and are these fast to make? Yes, How they're fun. really fun. They're very meticulous. You have to have mm -hmm. all your little elements, and then you wrap it yes, around. Yes, I like that little twist. Very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so You're much, so Casey. I appreciate knowing how to do this. Thank you. You're welcome.